Food safety is in your hands. As a food worker, the responsibility of preparing and serving safe food to customers is in your hands. You are the ones who must keep hot foods hot, cold foods cold, and not cross-contaminate. Yet one of the most important things you have to do to keep your customers safe from foodborne illness is to wash your hands correctly and use the barriers between your bare hands and the food that is ready to eat. What are ready-to-eat foods? Foods that will not be cooked or reheated before being eaten. Remember, food safety is in your hands. The CDC estimates that each year 76 million people suffer from vomiting and diarrhea caused by foodborne illnesses. People who are old, very young, or have a compromised immune system are in greater danger of getting very sick. In fact, 325,000 people are hospitalized every year and 5,000 die. Germs that can cause disease can get on your hands when you touch raw meat, fish, or poultry, when you sneeze, cough, or handle the garbage, and when you go to the toilet. Germs are microscopic. You can't see them. To show you how germs spread once they are on your hands, we're using a special safe product that imitates germs. You can see the fake germs when we put a black light on them. Now imagine this food worker has real germs on his hands because he didn't wash his hands very well after using the toilet. Everything he touches gets contaminated with the germs, even the food he has prepared for his customer. Not washing hands correctly then touching foods that are ready to eat with bare hands is one of the leading causes of foodborne illness. Remember, ready to eat foods are foods that won't be cooked or heated again before serving. Washing your hands correctly and then using a barrier between your bare hands and ready-to-eat foods is one of the best ways to prevent a foodborne illness. The correct way to wash your hands is to roll the towel dispenser down first. Turn on the warm water. Wet your hands under warm running water. Apply soap and wash briskly. Wash your hands, wrists, and lower arms. Between fingers around fingertips and nails. Rinse thoroughly under warm running water. Dry your hands with a paper towel and turn off the water with the paper towel. After washing your hands but before working with foods that are ready to eat, get the barrier you're going to use. Barriers are the best way to make sure that any germs that might still be on your hands do not get into the food. Barriers include utensils like tongs, deli tissues, chopsticks, picks and ice scoops, and of course disposable gloves. Using gloves correctly is as important as hand washing. In fact, hand washing and gloves work together. When you need to change gloves, take the dirty pair off and throw them in the garbage. Wash your hands well and put on a new pair of gloves. Remember, put new gloves on only after washing your hands. You will need to wash your hands and put on new gloves after going to the toilet, touching raw meat, fish or poultry, sneezing, coughing or handling garbage. Once again, each time you change gloves, you must wash your hands before putting on new ones. It takes only a few seconds to put gloves on, and those few seconds can make the difference between someone getting sick or staying healthy. Gloves are perfect for some tasks, but should not be worn all the time. Other barriers can be more effective than gloves. The best barrier depends on the type of ready-to-eat food you're working with. For example, use tongs or a spatula to take a burger from the grill and put it on the bun. Use bakery tissue to handle breads and pastries. Use chopsticks to arrange foods. Use picks for drink condiments and a scoop for ice. With practice, using barriers on ready-to-eat foods becomes an easy food safety habit. Hello, my name is Ngozi Oleru, Environmental Health Division Director for Public Health Seattle and King County. 
Like me, my family, colleagues, and friends really enjoy eating out. We want to have confidence, as you do, that our food is safe to eat. Safe food handling is up to you. Wash your hands correctly and use barriers between your bare hands and food that is ready to eat. If you use gloves, change them between tasks. Remember, food safety is in your hands. <laughs>